Hey guys, this is Daryl with Condition One Firearms Academy and Rampart Gear. Today we're going to be looking at the Red Jacket Firearms muzzle brake. It's the shorty muzzle brake and it also serves as a suppressor mount for their suppressor system. So we're going to take a look at this, shoot it a little bit, see how it performs. Let's look real quick at a comparison between uh, these muzzle brakes. Uh, this is an 18 tooth AAC suppressor mount and muzzle brake or flash hider actually and then this is the red jacket firearms of course complete with the DNA sampler and then also the uh, battle comp 2.0 so really these are pretty much uh, very similar in size uh, won't add as much bulk really or weight as this this mount would um, which is one of the things I like about it and of course one of the prominent features on the red jacket firearms muzzle brake is the uh, standoff device very aggressive crenellated front so we're going to try this out real quick, see how it functions. Now that we've talked about most of the major characteristics, we're going to go ahead and put it through the paces. Okay, a couple of things. Um, first of all, we are shooting this on a 12 and a half inch barrel, which means there's a bit more um, concussion than you would experience in say a, a 16 inch barrel. Um, the muzzle brake functionality is really good. It very, um, very much and very noticeably controls uh, muzzle climb. And I, that was rather impressive. The um, flash suppression on it is decent, but not great and, and honestly, these aren't really designed to um, to act as flash hiders. They're really designed to control the muzzle, which this one does very, very well. So as a muzzle brake, I could definitely recommend this thing. As a flash hider, not so much. And I'm sure, you know, as a suppressor mounted, it probably works flawlessly. So that's it. Overall, this thing performs really, really well.